بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله This is section 4.2 The Mean Value Theorem We need to talk first about rules uh, theorem Rules theorem is used in the proof of the mean value theorem and actually the mean value theorem is a generalization of the rules theorem as we shall see So rules theorem says that f is a function we have f function that satisfies three hypotheses or conditions if is continuous on the closed interval a b if is differentiable on the open interval a b and f of a equals f of b so these are the three conditions if is continuous and the derivative exists on the open interval from a to b uh, so you can say that domain of f a, the closed interval a b is part of the domain of f the open interval a b is part of the domain of f prime derivative and f of a equals f of b then there is a number c if these three conditions satisfied then there is a number C in the open interval A, B. So it is not A and it's not B. It is a number between A and B such that the derivative at C is zero. And the meaning of this, the derivative is zero. Well, the derivative is zero means the slope of the tangent line is zero. And if the slope of the tangent line is zero, look here to this red the tangent line here has to be horizontal because the slope zero is zero for horizontal lines and the tangent line would be horizontal if we have something like this maximum or minimum or uh, even a constant function here in part in graph a we have a constant function so f of c1 f of a would be equal to f of b Okay, f of a equals f of b and the function is continuous and the derivative exists so there is at least one c or there is a c between a b such that f prime of c is zero actually in the first example uh, there are infinitely many c's in a b any number between a b the derivative at this number is zero because the tangent line is the same line uh, the same function and it is uh, the derivative or the slope of this line is zero while here uh, make sure that f of a equals f of b so are the same then this line uh, there is a c in the middle such that the slope of the tangent line is zero at c here in part c we have two points c1 and c2 where the tangent line is horizontal notice also that f of a equals f of b and here we have uh, one c notice something we need it we will need it for the mean value theorem the line connecting a and b okay uh, connecting these two points uh, this is the point a if a this is the point b if b uh, is parallel to the tangent line okay so these tangent lines actually are parallel to the line connecting a and b all right the graph of a function f is shown this is the graph function f verify that f satisfies the hypothesis of rolls theorem on the interval from 0 to 8. well the function is continuous uh, it is also differentiable on the open interval 0, 8 because no corners and no vertical tangent tangents. Then estimate and f of 0. So you can say that f is continuous on 0, 8. This is condition 1. And also, if is differentiable 
on 0, 8, open, continuous because there are no gaps, differentiable because there are no corners, no vertical tangents. And the third condition, f of 0 equals f of 8 equals 3. This is 0, this is f of 0, and it is also, this is 4, this is 8, so f of 8 is also 3. So the three conditions are satisfied. Then estimate the values of c that satisfy the conclusion of Rolle's theorem. So according by rules theorem, there is C in the upper interval 0, 8, such that F prime at C is 0. So the derivative at C is 0. So the tangent line at C is horizontal, which means you have minimum or maximum usually. So this point here, okay, uh, the tangent line is, is horizontal. And this point also, the tangent line is horizontal. So at 1, so C is 1, and also C is 5. 1 and 5, okay. So these two numbers, uh, two values of C we found. And notice that the tangent lines uh, are horizontal to the line connecting 0 and, and 8. Draw the graph of a function defined on 0, 8, such that f of 0 equals f of 8 equals to 3. Okay, 1, 2, 3, so this is f of 0. And f of 8 is also 3. So f of 0 equals f of 8 equals 3. And the function does not satisfy the conclusion of the rules theorem. So you will not find uh, a number c between 0, 8 such that the tangent line is horizontal. So we can draw, for example, like this. So there is no maximum and minimum. There is no C in which the tangent line is, is horizontal. Uh, and the problem why, why Rolle's theorem does not apply because F is not continuous at zero eight because there is a gap. So when F is not continuous, uh, there no guarantee that C exists. Verify the three uh, hypotheses of Rolle's theorem, then find all number C that satisfies the conclusion of Rolle's theorem. Well, F is a polynomial. It's, in fact, the graph of F is parabola. Uh, domain of F is all real numbers. So F is continuous on R, in fact, and it is continuous, of course, if it is continuous at R, it would be continuous on the closed interval negative 1 and 3. So this is the first condition. Now the second condition, f prime of x is 4x minus 4, and this is also a polynomial, and the domain of f prime is also all real numbers. Obitelli f prime exists on R and f prime exists as a special case on the open interval negative 1, 3 because negative 1, 3 is an interval from R. Now the third condition, what is f of negative 1? So f of negative 1 would be uh, 2 plus 4 plus 5, that's 11. And let me check f of 3, 2 times 9 minus 12. 
plus 5. It is also 11. So the three conditions are satisfied. So by rules theorem, there exists C in the open interval negative 1 and 3 such that f prime of c is 0. But what is f prime of c? f prime of x is 4x minus 4. So to find f prime of c, I replace x by c. So 4c minus 4. Now, if this derivative should be 0. So 4c is 4 and c is 1. And 1 belongs to the open interval negative 1, 3. So this is the C guaranteed by rules theorem. Same question again. Also, you will, you will mention the same. You will say first that domain of F is all real numbers. Hence, F is continuous on the closed interval negative 2 and 2. And I find F prime, which is 3x squared minus 4x minus 4 and it is a polynomial the domain of f prime is also all real numbers so f prime exists on the interval the open interval negative 2 and 2 and let us check f of negative 2 so f of negative 2 would be negative 2 to the power 3 which is negative 8 minus 2 times 4 so that's minus 8 minus 4 times negative 2 so that that's plus 8 plus 2 so the answer is negative 6 and let me check f of 2 well uh, 8 minus 8 minus 8 plus 2 so that's also negative 6 so the three conditions are satisfied, which means that by rules theorem, there exists C belongs to the open interval negative 2, 2, such that F prime of C is 0. Well, this is F prime of X, so F prime of C would be 3C squared minus 4C minus 4, and this should be 0. And now I need to solve this uh, equation. It is a quadratic equation, so it has two solutions. I can factor the, factor the quadratic equation, or I can use the the quadratic formula. So 3c times c okay and then plus 2 minus 2 minus 4 2c minus 6c minus 4c so this is the factored form then c is 2 but 2 does not belong to the upper interval negative 2 and 2 and c could be negative 2 over 3 and this belongs to the upper interval negative 2 and 2 so this is the C guaranteed by the rules theorem. This function is not continuous at zero. So domain F, all real numbers except zero. So F is continuous on the open, on the closed interval half and two because this interval does not contain zero. If I find f prime, it would be 1 minus 1 over x square, and also domain of f prime, or real numbers except 0. So f prime exists, or f is differentiable, on the open interval half and 2. The third condition, what is f of half? It is half plus 2, so it's 2.5. And also f of 2 is 2 plus half, which is 2.5.
So there exists C belongs to the open interval half and two such that F prime of C is zero. Well, this is F prime of X. So F prime of C would be one minus one over C square and this should be equal to zero. So one over C square is one cross the product. So C square is one. So C is plus or minus one. But negative one does not belong to the open interval half and two, which means it, it is not the one, but C equals one. One belongs to half and two open. So this is the, the value of C that's guaranteed by rules uh, theorem. f of x equals one minus x to the power two over three. Show that f of negative one equals f of one. Okay, f of negative one equals one minus negative one to the power two over three. And this would be one minus one, it would be zero. And f of one would be also one minus one, which is zero. But there is no number c on negative one and one such that f prime of c equals to zero. And why does this not contradict rule's theorem? If, if, it, uh, if there is no c, if rule's theorem is not applied here, then either f is not continuous at a number between negative one and one, or f prime does not exist at a number between one and one, negative one and one. Well, if you look to f, this is x to the power two over three. So domain of f is all real numbers because they have no problem with the third root. This means that f is continuous on the closed interval, negative one and one. But what about differentiability? Let us find f prime of x. Well, f prime of x is derivative of one is zero, negative derivative of x to the power two over three is two over three times x to the power two over three minus one, which is negative one over three. So f prime in fact is negative two over three times cube root of x or x to the power one over three in the denominator. And I can see from here that domain of f prime is all real numbers except the zero because the denominator cannot be zero and zero belongs to the open interval negative one and one. So this means that f prime is not differentiable on the open interval negative one one because or since f prime at zero does not exist so that's why that's why uh, that's why this not or does not contradict rules theorem because if a prime is not differentiable on the open interval negative one and one uh, well, I'll stop here, and I will uh, uh, I will have one a video, especially for the mean value theorem.